All right, you guys, here's the video on how to put all this together from Lightroom to Photoshop. Start by importing your photos in Lightroom and then go through and pick out one photo from each set of poses and give it five stars. So five stars here, five stars here. Making sure that you're including lots of overlap, right? Picking photos that you know are going to overlap. And there you go, there's my four photos. If you have more, that's fine. I'm gonna come up here to the top of my screen. I'm gonna click on the funnel, turn on the five star filter. Now I had already five starred some photos, so that's why there's eight here. But there you go, I just got rid of them. I'm going to click on my first photo, hold down shift, click on my last photo, and then come up here and click on my edit button. And I'm gonna just start editing these photos. I'll always start by pressing auto, play around with the exposure, uh, color, color mixer, color grading. We've learned about all this stuff. Little vignette, a little clarity, good. And now, I wanna copy all of the settings, all the edits that I did to this photo, to these photos right here. I'm gonna do that by pressing Command C on my keyboard. That's going to copy edit settings. And I wanna paste it to these other photos. I'm gonna do Command Shift V. Make sure those photos were still selected. If they're not selected, that won't work. So again, I did that by click on the first photo, hold down Shift, click on the last photo. I want all four of these to be selected again because I'm now gonna come up here Go to this button right here and export these as large JPEG. So click right there on JPEG large. This box will pop up. It'll ask me where I want to save these. I'm going to go into my folder and just give this a name I can remember. Multiplicity practice or whatever you want to call it for video and hit create and export those and once this blue bar up here is done i am done and i can close lightroom and i'm gonna go over to photoshop here we go come up here in photoshop and go to file scripts load files into stack and because i put those photos in their own folder i could choose folder here and choose browse and i can just find that folder and that actually makes life real easy it's in my Google Drive, obviously, shared drives. <clears throat> this is where you should have saved your stuff as well. Period one, my folder, and molt practice for video. There they are. And all I have to do is hit open. If you did not put them in a folder, then you have to change this to files, and you got to choose browse, and you got to come in, and you got to choose each one of those files again by clicking on the first one, holding down shift, and clicking on the last one. So. Ideally, you just put them into a folder and that makes life a lot easier. And we press OK here. All right, you can see Photoshop is loading these up and putting them into uh, all into one photo on top of each other in the layers panel. Perfect. Good idea to just go through them by clicking on these eyeballs right here to turn them on and off. I see I've got some camera shake I'm going to have to deal with. And that's OK. I will get all that taken care of in editing. So let's turn off the top three layers by clicking on those eyeballs right there. And I just want to look at this bottom layer and I just want to pay attention to where I'm at. I'm right there. So <clears throat> I'm just going to remember that. That's it. I'm done with this layer. I'm going to click on the next layer, turn it on, and I'm going to see is there any overlap between me's, the me's. And no, there's not. There's not. I'm no overlap at all. That means all I have to do is add an air layer mask, grab my brush tool. Grab my brush tool. Make sure my colors here are set to the default state. <clears throat> I want to make sure this is pure black. You guys, if this is right here, it's almost pure black. That's not going to work. So I'm going to do that by just pressing D on my keyboard to reset these to their default color and then press X to switch them. So there we go. I've got my foreground colors now pure black. I'm going to control option left click and make my brush big and also my hardness super low. I want that hardness to be 0%. So there you go. And then painting with black, I'm just going to reveal what is underneath this layer. Do a nice wide selection here so you don't leave out any shadows or anything like that. And I can see right away, watch this, I'm going to zoom in here, and I can see the camera moved. See that? That's super easy to fix. I'm going to switch to my move tool. That's this tool right here. Keyboard shortcut is V. And I'm just going to use the arrow keys on my keyboard and move this up or down or left or right until things line up again. So I'm looking at the TV right now to see that. And there you go, that solved that problem. But then looking right here, I can see I need to move this to the right as well. And that seems to have solved the problem. Let's zoom out and look and see how I did. I'm going to turn this off and then back on. And there's a tiny, tiny bit of movement, but totally fine. Let's move on. Let's go to the next image. I'm going to click on this layer. I'm going to turn it on. 
I'm going to see there is some overlap here. It's just a little bit. It's not a ton, but there is some overlap. So I have to do this one a little bit differently. I'm not just going to slap a layer mask on there. I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I am going to leave this layer selected. I'm going to come up here to the object selection tool, keyboard shortcut W. And let's just try pressing select subject and see what that does. Uh, that's not bad, not bad. I'm going to command D that and I'm going to try putting my cursor over me and just hold it there and I'm going to click and see if that gives me a little bit better selection. And it honestly looks about the same. Now what I want to do is I only want to worry about getting a good selection where there's overlap. And I think that's going to be right here. One of the ways I can check that though is by coming in and turning this layer right here off. And you see that selection is still active. And so I can see here's where all the overlap is going to be, right along there. And that's about it. So I just need to make sure I have a good selection right through here. So I'm going to turn this layer back on. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to go into Select and Mask. And I'm going to change my view to On Layers right there. See that one right there? I did that by clicking right here on Layers. And this is going to show me what it's going to look like in real time. And I can see I got a little bit of glow right there around the edge of me, so I need to fix that. Let's start by maybe doing just a touch of radius, maybe just three or four pixels. And that fixed it a little bit. That definitely analyzed that edge, cleaned it up a little bit. Let's do a little bit of smooth. And that smoothed it out a little bit. Still a little glow there. So now I'm going to shift the edge in a little bit, maybe about 20-30%. And that's subtracted almost all of it. There's a tiny little bit right there. Let's try Refine Edge. Keyboard shortcut is R for that. And using a real small brush, Control, Option, Left Click, shrink it way down. And just a little Refine Edge right there. Let's see what that does. Nice. That's perfect. That's, that looks great right there. The last thing I want to do is because this me, whoops, sorry, pushed the wrong button. Because this me right here is slightly out of focus. I'm going to increase the feather a little, just a little bit, maybe like 1.0 px, just to blur this edge just a little bit and make it so it's not too hard of an edge. Perfect. And then I'm going to output to right down here at the bottom, layer mask. Very nice. And I'm going to press OK. And there you go. Now, because this is a layer mask, I could come in here and if I saw any little mistakes like right there where it left a little bit of skin, or a little bit of a whatever that is, I could just click on my layer mask, grab my brush tool, make it a real small brush, and get in there and just kind of manually paint that area a little bit better. And then remember, black makes things, uh, reveals what's below, and then white conceals. So I did a little too much. I'm just going to press X to switch to white, paint that back in right there. Perfect, and that's looking pretty great. Last one is, oh, last thing I want to do is on this, I'm going to come, and because I did a selection, like look at my feet, it didn't include the shadows below me or anything like that, so it looks a little bit weird. So I'm going to click on this layer mask one more time, grab my brush tool, make it a big, soft-edged brush, and I'm going to go around painting with white, set my foreground color to white. I'm going to just paint those shadows in. In fact, I'm going to go all the way around me except for where there's overlap. I'm going to stay away from that area. But I do want to bring all that back in. I'm bringing all that back. And I see there's a little bit of camera shake here, so I'm going to zoom in, try to find it. I can really see it right over here on the desk right there. So I'm going to switch to the Move tool, keyboard shortcut V. I'm going to use the arrow keys on my keyboard to line that back up and make that look good. And there we go. Last one, just have one more to do. Click on it, turn it on. There's no overlap there, so that's easy. Just slap a layer mask, grab my brush tool, set my color to black, and just paint all the other me's back in. So anytime there's no overlap, you guys, just slap a layer mask on and just real quickly paint everything. You do need to be careful. You can't just come in here and cut, paint the whole thing black because if I'm not, if I'm getting a little too aggressive and I do that, now all of a sudden I don't have a head anymore, so I'm going to undo that. So be careful you're not erasing any of the U's that you want to stay. And then always check for camera shake. I don't see, oh, I see a little bit here. Look at the table again. So that's easy. Switch to the move tool. Arrow keys on my keyboard. Problem solved. And we are done. Just like that. Make sure you save it as a Photoshop and then go into file, save a copy, and save it as a JPEG because the JPEG is what you're going to turn in on Canvas.